Greetings all and a special thanks to Sherrod and team for their Herculean tasks in presenting these programs. This is my fourth program and today I want to share with you the potential and opportunity for tomorrow for you, I and all of us. You and I will remember we had the telephone, used to be the big unit, we'll sit on our desk and at our homes. And then we had the big block of the first cell phone that came out. One block, like a big cylinder block, weighing two and a half pounds. I remembered way back in the 80s, 2,500 US dollars for that block of the first cell phone that came out. Now what we have is a seven ounces iPhone doing so many kind of items. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm assuring you, I'm encouraging you to be ready for the new technology that's at our doorstep. It has been here for some years now, and right now the U.S. is leading, China is next in line, and the European Union. As Guyana moves forward with our billions in revenues, many of the companies that are already in Guyana, if you are associated with them, I'm of the view that they've already start to use this kind of technology to keep their costs down and maximize profits. Because you know, that's business. Main goal they have shareholders is to make money. But it's the government task to make sure they do it and with respect to the labor. In Guyana, some say 50%, some say 60% are women and youths. So it's very important that you and I use every opportunity when the government program, the goal program, to take it. If it's no charge and little charge, at all levels, take it, use it, be equipped. All, all revenues will be there and hopefully the government will use more technology. Recently, you heard in the news that $34 million are going to be spent for a digital card. Well, I can argue, and I will write about that next week. It should be a different price, but the technology, the message was there for technology. Countries like Japan, Korea, Vietnam, they are already fully almost close to being digitized. No money is being used. This is the world. Well, the program I'm talking about is CHAT, C-H-A-T, G-P-T. Repeat. Chat C H A T G P T. And after I'm finished, you can do a Google search and it will give you a lot of information. We all are familiar with Google search. You know, you know, Google, and they will come up with different answers and writings and everything. This is based on what is being daily put over the years in the system. So when you ask Google for something, it comes up with a long list as much as you want. Fine. Google and the other companies have dis discovered this new chat technology, which is a chat box. It's a computer program that stimulates human conversation. Repeat, it stimulates human conversation. And it's like communicating to a real person when there's no real person. Some say, argue it, it can be dangerous. My words can be taken, cut and paste. Yes, that's the downside of this technology. Like everything else, there is a plus and a minus. But it is coming. And hopefully the authorities will make sure all the elements are there. We need to be prepared. In 20 years, everything will be digitized, they say. They also say that we're going to lose in the next three years, 23, 24, and 25, 8 to 5, 5 million jobs will be gone, but 77 new billion jobs will be created with a new technology. The jobs that are likely to go and is already going now is customer service executives, customer service persons, bookkeepers, accountants, receptionists, proofreaders in newspapers, manufacturing, light manufacturing work, the retail services, the courier services, some are delivering Robots, one supermarket in New York automating 10 robotic automatic cash out 
That means they wouldn't need 30 cashiers, just one or two supervisors. For the young students, I encourage you to get your bachelor's degree in engineering, computer science, algebra, anything in the science at all levels. Equip yourselves with the training and the discipline. <clears throat> the skills that are needed will be anything to do with the computers at all levels, at all levels. But I encourage you to take the opportunity, be prepared, get ready for this glorious new world that is knocking at our door. We can do it. We must have the will. I'm strongly encouraging you to take charge of the new technological opportunities. The government has announced coders are being recruited. Take the lessons. Goal has program wherever they are in Linden. There's an agency doing some opportunities for coding and training. Whatever, take it. The more you can do, the better it is. Onward and upward to a better tomorrow for you, your family, the nation, and globally. The ball is in our court. Onward and upward. Good night.